A big component of a house is its doors and windows. In this video, we are going to talk about the fabrication of steel window frames and doors that you can use for your upcoming house. My name is Nick Mema from Property Noma. And I'm Ruben Mohanda Kamau from Bridges Fabricators. Yes, so today we are at Bridges Fabricators and we are going to talk about uh, steel doors and window frames. Uh, we've talked a lot about precast panels and other walling technologies, but as you know, a house is not just the walls. Uh, we have the roof, we have the foundation, but in today's focus, we are going to talk about the doors and windows. So, karibu sana Ruben to the channel. Now we are at your workshop here yeah, at uh, Ridgeways Fabricators. Yeah. Kindly tell us uh, how you do your process, how, to, how you make the doors and window frames uh, for your clients. Okay. Uh, it's actually not a simple task, but with determination and everything, we get to make our clients happy. So right here are some of our examples what we do. Uh, for the precast, okay, we do mainly for all of them, but right now mainly for the precast, there's a way we fold them to allow the heating of the panel here and on top of it to safely secure the precast panels. Yeah. Yes. Mm. So this is, a, you say, like a C-channel for the sides? Yes, it's a C, actually a C-channel for the sides. Uh -huh. Yeah. And how do you do the customization for other walls, like uh, stone walls, for example? Uh, what you do, I don't know. Okay, we don't have an example right now. Yeah. But maybe for some time you may get it. Yeah. The reason why we have this for the precast, it's wide, it's narrower. But for other walls, yeah. uh, depending on the size of the stone, we make them wider. Uh -huh. Yes. Mm. Okay. Uh, judging from the look of this door, this is a, like a, this is a steel yes. door frame now. Yes. It replaces the, uh, the wooden frames. Yes, it replaces the wooden frames. Okay. Yeah. We do that for the interior and for the exterior. And uh, what gauge of steel do you use? Uh, the gauge mainly depends on the client's uh, pocket and likeness. Like for this one, we've used uh, the heavy gauge, 1.5 millimeter, while this we have used 1.2 millimeters for the panels, because we don't have to make them so heavy. Yeah. But if you were to use this as 1.5, we'll go for 2 millimeters for the framing. Okay. Yes. Mm. Yeah, just to make them stronger. Just to make it stronger for the door. Because yeah. when you make this one strong and this one weak, the door will be tearing the bushes okay. or the hinges there. Uh, this is a space that you've left for the window? Yeah, now this is for the glass. Window, window pin. Yeah. Uh, uh, will you put any grills uh, on this particular door? Uh, for this one, yes, we have to put like two of them, just uh -huh. for bug the proofing them. Uh, what steps are left to make this uh, door finished? Because right uh, now it's uh, unfinished. The door is uh, it's halfway through right now, yeah. Because we have the hinges to put, we have a lock to install, and now the painting and the grill. Yes. Kindly take us through the steps that you do uh -huh. to fully fabricate a door from scratch. What's oh, okay. like the first step to the last step? First step, uh, it's buying the materials. Uh, we do first the uh, the black sheets. We take them to a place. They get folded. Uh -huh to our design and likeness. From there, we come with them here at the site. We use the tubes, like these ones. You can see these ones Yeah. for the shutter. Uh, from now, those ones, we're able to do the framing, not the, to do the shutter, all of it. Then from there, we, we use these ones to make the framing now. What are the steps that you take mm. now for, the, for our window? Uh, for a window, it has more job than doors because uh, the components, as you, can as you can see for yourself, for this one, we have like six different components compared to a door, which uh, we only have like three of them. We have the 40mm by 25mm, we have the 25mm by 25mm, we have the bag approving, we have this. So it, it, it actually takes more time for a window than for a door, mm -hmm. yes. But the design and everything, uh, the difference is only some few items there and there. Okay. Mm. Uh, between a door and a window, which one consumes more materials to fabricate? 
Uh, it will depend yeah. by the size. But majorly, for the window, it has more job to do. How do you come up with a quotation yeah. for a house? For example, I see these doors and windows, mm. they are going for, to our, to our precast panel home. Yeah. So how do you come up with a quotation mm -hmm. for the entire house? Uh, what we do, a quotation is majorly uh, dependent on the items you're using, uh, time and labor, where we're taking them, where we're fixing them. So what we do, we first talk to the client, we get to know what they want, uh, then we decide, we advise and they decide on the best way to go about it. And from there we do the size, the design, uh, the quality of the materials and the purpose. So all that included, that's how we come up with our quotation. Between uh, a steel door and window mm. and the aluminium ones, which one is cheaper between the two? I would say steel is cheaper than aluminium. Yeah. And I would go for steel cores, mainly for security reasons. Steel is best. Since you're based in, in Ridgeweza, mm. are you able to transport the doors and windows to anywhere in the country? Yes, we do everywhere because if you are to look at it, uh, these windows are meant for uh, Nakuru. We have ones that are back there, they're going to Nyeri. We will soon be going to, to, to the site. And we also have others that are going to Karen. Okay. So yes, we, are, we, we go everywhere. Yes. Yeah. So transport is not an issue? Transport is not an issue. Yeah. Anywhere, everywhere we go, anytime. Uh, what else do you do at your workshop? Uh, we do mainly metal works. Those are windows, gates. We also do grills, stair grills. We do gates. In terms of design, mm -hmm. do you have specific designs that you are there to, or are you able to customize the design the client wants? Uh, what we mainly do, because uh, uh, it's our field of work. So, yes, the client can come with the design and we discuss over it. We can discuss to improve the design. Uh, where the client is stuck with the design, we agree to it. The difference between all these ones, uh, this is uh, for window, but mainly for machine cut stones, the Darugo stones, as you may call them. Uh, that's why you have this gap to fit in there machine cut stones. Now that aside, now this, we have the difference between this. The reason we use this for doors is to have this as a pocket for the door. Once you do the whole framing and we have the space to hold the precast panels. Uh, the main difference now between this and this, having this one is for a window. It needs to hold the panel and this to go around the window. The gaps vary because of the material that... Yes. Actually, the wall. Yes, the, the wall walling now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Right now, they are just about to install uh, the steel door to the precast panels. So we'll see how that process goes on. Mm. So what you have right here is the door frame C channel, specially made for the doors only. Uh, between the door and the panel, we have to pour in concrete, so we can do it. So we have concrete flowing through this and this in between now. Yeah. Is it concrete or ballast? It's concrete because it's, we have cement, sand, and uh, oh. cement, sand, and ballast. Yeah, so okay. it's concrete. Yeah, they will do that later on after the, they've secured it to the panel. When panels. we do the panel, and this other side, so it, it dries at the same time. Next, we are going to demonstrate how a window is fitted on a precast panel wall. So, just like the door, but now for the window, depending on the size, usually much simpler because all you have to do. Just make sure that it enters quite well. Uh, 
Yeah, that, it's level. And just like that, we fill the window. Yeah. Hmm. So the design depends on what the client wants. Yes, by, by what the client wants, yes. Okay. Hmm. How do you do the finishing process for both the windows and the doors? Uh, mostly we do, after we do the whole fabrication thing, uh, there's the grading part. Some windows, some parts will require some body filling. And then from there we spray paint them with the with, uh, metal primer okay. to prevent it from rusting. Yes? Yes. Uh, do you do any uh, custom colors or do you just leave it with the gun metal finish? As per the customer's request, we do. Also, uh, do you pour concrete on window frames? Uh, same as the door, we do pour the concrete right here. There's a gap here Yes. for it to have a strong board between the panel and the window. Yeah. Yes, so we do the pouring of the concrete there and also here. Yeah. Mm. Uh, in terms of your experience, yeah. is it a good idea for clients to in transport the window frames and door frames yeah. together with the precast panels? Would you advise that or would they, should they do it separately? It all depends with how you do it. Because uh, to save on cost, when you're, going, when you're doing long distances and you have one, one mode of transport, yes, you can. But on top of the, you do the precast lower, then the windows on top of it, but there's, there's something you put between them to prevent the precast from, you know, from chipping. Uh, that was the demonstration of how window frames and door frames are manufactured uh, at his workshop in Ridgeways. And we've also seen how they're installed on site. I hope this video has been insightful. You've taken up some notes and you know how the installation of windows and doors are done on precast panel walls. In this video, we've done it using precast panels, but like he said before, any type of walling material that you use is able to customize the window and door frames. So feel free, I'll leave his contacts and also the pin location of his workshop in Ridgeways so that you can come and visit him at your convenience. So thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.